Hi everyone. Let me just wait until I see people join. Hope you guys are all doing well. Hi Bhavna. Hi Anfal. Hi everyone. Hi Usain. How is everyone doing? I got them. Hi Garav. Hi Hussein. Hi Brag. Well, hopefully you guys are all doing well. So today we aren't interviewing any cricketer, so there's no cricketer on the show, but we have a cricket analysis. So obviously there's a lot that happens back end and we're going to kind of learn more about it because I know I've been getting a lot of requests. Hi Raj, we've been getting a lot of requests about, you know, people who want to go into that analysis world and kind of how it works and how they can do that too. So that's what we're going to do. So today Sarah Walker is going to join us. I'm just going to wait for him to join. Hi Rui. Yeah, Manan, seriously. Hi, Kalash. Hi, everyone. So let me see. Okay, we're just going to wait for Saurabh to join. If you guys have any questions you want to ask, just let me know. Okay, Saurabh is here, so... Hello. Hi, Roshni. How are you? How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. The beard's not that bad. I was I was expecting much <laughs> worse. <laughs> yeah, it's been sixty days. There's no trim up being used. Yeah, no, I can I can totally hear that out. I've been wanting to cut my hair for a while now, so <laughs> I think I'll have to go another month without cutting it. But yeah, it looks is, like. Yeah, exactly. How has this quarantine been going for you? Um. Uh, just now it's like a routine now <laughs> just trying to keep myself fit and uh, trying to do uh, some cricketing work uh, watching few cricket games and reading few books okay. watching netflix yeah trying to keep myself busy yeah so aajkal time kaise spend kar rahe ho time as in uh, getting up early then doing my exercises workout yeah. routine then reading few books then netflix just routine stuff yeah so do you have to work at all during this quarantine like do you have any you know pending work for any teams or anything like that that you've been working on or is it total you know rest time as well for you see right now the lockdown is going on so so many cricketers so many uh, players who have been worked with they've been calling me and okay. uh, sending me texts for their uh, past videos and stats yeah. Yeah. So you know, now I'm just uh, uh, busy in uh, making their videos, uh, collecting their videos of okay. past few games, yeah. uh, providing them uh, the stats. You know where the things they have to work on for the upcoming yeah. leagues. Yeah. So you know, doing that. Okay. So yeah, you're definitely being productive as well. You know, getting in all that yeah. stuff because you have that time. So now, if Sorry. we go to your childhood, were you always you know fond of cricket? Yeah, like you know, I I'm from the city of Mumbai, and yeah. uh, I stay near Shivaji Park. So you know, every kid whoever lives near near Shivaji Park. So you know, since childhood, uh, uh, their dream is to you know, I mean, just to play cricket. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not as a uh, professional, but you know, uh, as they grow up, you know, they they grow up uh, playing cricket. That's it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So you know, what what did you study when you were studying? Kind of, what was your aim at that point when you were studying? I guess engineering. Um, what specifically? And at that time, did you think about becoming a cricket analysis, or were you just you know studying and then as the process went that you figured it no, out? No, uh, uh, when I was doing my engineering, there was nothing as in such in my mind. You know, I have to okay. be analyst or I have to yeah. choose this stream. uh but i was studying and i was doing i was playing cricket club cricket uh, uh with my i mean some professional uh, company cricket so then i realized you know uh, after engineering uh, you know i have to stick to the cricket yeah uh, so i have to find some link or you know some profession where i can be busy with uh, uh, 
uh, with a cricket routine only yeah so i met uh, uh, one guy at cci club and i realized you know that these are the things which uh, you know uh, youngsters can uh, make a career uh, out of it so okay. i chose to be an analyst with that okay so what year was that in like was it after you finished your studies or while you were completing your studies uh, when i was in my third year of engineering okay uh, uh back in 2006 i think 2005 okay. or 2006 yeah so what was that drive you know that you that made you fall in love with you know becoming a cricket analyst you know what about it was something that you know because in that in that time period it was still more an upcoming thing you know then teams didn't really have it and now it's become you know an essential part of a team to wo kaise matlab ki you know in that beginning when you were starting off when you didn't know you know much about it kind of thing what was it yeah mujhe yahi karna hai see uh, uh, when you are playing cricket uh, at the some stage or at at, at the some age you realize uh, you know you cannot make it big so yeah. you have to look out for some ways Yeah. and uh, at at that stage i somehow i met uh, dhananjay uh, he was with indian team that time and uh, i was interacting with him then he told me few interesting stuff you know these are the ways you can be connected to b- uh, bigger teams or you know these are the ways you can connect to the connect uh, to the game yeah uh, so uh, that way i found it uh, very much interesting so you know i chose to be an uh, analyst to that yeah, uh, so thing. you can be a part of the game you know somehow definitely yeah yeah so you know if we talk about what type of now that you've been in the field for you know over 10 years what is what is a skill set or you know when you're studying or for aspiring um cricket analysis what are some things that they should you know look into when they look into going to studies because i don't think in india there's like an exact course yet you know for cricket analysis So you know what are some things they should look into you know when they're trying to prepare and if this is something that they want to do See uh, there is nothing uh, specific course in India but yeah. uh, you will get such courses in in UK yeah or in other countries but it is not specific for cricket yeah. it is it is for for the sport for sports yeah uh, so then you can you can just choose the stream you want to get into football or cricket or tennis yeah. whichever uh, sports uh, you like but in India yeah. if you want to uh be a cricket analyst uh, i think uh, obviously you need to have a uh, computer background or you know you okay. need to have a uh, software knowledge yeah. and also have a uh, cricketing knowledge uh, about the rules and regulation yeah. about uh, cricketing techniques yeah. because uh, uh, i guess when when you're talking with the cricketers or when you're talking with the coach or captain uh, you know they should not feel like like uh, you you only have a computer knowledge you don't have any cricketing knowledge or a game yeah. knowledge so i think uh, you know uh, cricket knowledge is also a, a plays a big role in it yeah no definitely compared to any of the sports so now let's talk about you know what was your first job as a cricket analysis now before your first job were you doing any internships or you know getting experience from others before you had that first job and what was your first job see uh, my first job uh, was with bcci as a uh, umpiring project uh, analyst back in 2007 but before that i was doing internship with uh, mrf space foundation okay. i was doing uh, small small assignments with cci uh, cci cricket club of india and i was attending some camps with dranjay uh, and uh, uh, after after attending those camps and assignments Uh, uh i got a training from uh, from him to yeah, uh, work, uh, cricket match hello matches okay yeah hello hello can you hear me hello uh, hello yeah Okay yeah i think we broke up a yeah. little yeah yeah now it's yeah go. yeah so yeah so uh, before the, after those assignments i got into uh, bcci as a full time uh, analyst for the umpiring project okay and uh, then then i started looking for jobs in a uh, few uh, cricket teams okay so then you know what is that journey so if you can you know just share you know like some of the highlights of that journey up until now um just because we're getting uh, a lot of questions about you know that the type of experience you know I know you've been a part of many leagues which we'll get into a bit later 
but kind of, you know, the starting point about the different roles that you took on to get to where you are right now. Uh, see, right now, when I, when I started with, with the uh, few camps, I had to carry a lot of wires, a lot of camera work, because there, yeah. that time we, we were having old handy camps. So there yeah. are a lot of tapes I was carrying. So there's a lot of struggle, you know, to copy that data, cassette data in your laptop. So uh, the time uh, which you were spending on the ground, like if you're recording or, you know, if you're capturing the night sessions for two hours or three hours, yeah. same time, you know, uh, you need to capture back in your laptop. So, so when you, even if you get that small assignment uh, for two hours, but in the back end, you are literally working out for seven hours. So, yeah. you know, it was uh, quite testing time, and, you know, uh, uh, where I've learned small, small things. Yeah. Uh, and my first assignment, uh, small assignment, I was doing with uh, Lakshmi Pati Balaji when he was doing, making a comeback uh, yeah. in the uh, Indian side, and he was working, he was in the MRF that time. Yeah. So uh, I was recording his video. That was my learning experience. First, I mean, uh, if you ask me about my first assignment. Okay. And what were, you know, what was a goal that you had when you were starting off, you were taking your first job? Did you have any goals in mind that, you know, I want to be a part of this or I want to do this? Yeah, you know, do you have anything said, Ki mujhe ye karna hai? Yeah, I want to be a part of this, you know, in the future or anything like that? Uh, I didn't, I didn't have a bigger goal as, you know, I have to uh, work with the Indian team or, yeah. uh, uh, or I feel team because at that time there was no yeah, uh, there was IPL. No, yeah. It's, uh, domestic uh, cricket. Yeah. So that time I had a goal uh, to work with the Mumbai cricket team. Yeah. Uh, uh, because since childhood uh, I was following them, and you will see so many stars, so many big cricketers in that team. So there was a, a thing in my mind, you know, uh, to be in that dressing room in yeah. Mumbai cricket dressing room. That was my uh, goal when I started uh, doing analysis. Yeah. So Raj is asking. Um, we'll just take like this one question since it's good. So cricket analysis, is it a one-person job or is it necessary to have a back-end team? So I would say there is a back-end team, but I guess there's different roles. So I know, you know, you've been in teams where you haven't been, you know, with them, but you've given them, you know, information and worked on things as well. So how does that work, you know, when you're a cricket analysis? See, yeah. See, it, it's, it's a two kind of job. Like, you know, uh, when you're working during the practice sessions, I mean, if, if someone is batting or bowling and then you are recording his videos and giving him analysis, so that's just a one-person job. Uh, for yeah. that, you don't need any back-end stuff. Yeah. But when you are working with the team and when you are traveling with the team, that time you need a, uh, uh, you need to have your back-end team uh, because there's not much of time to keep eye on all the games when yeah. you are traveling, when you are busy yeah. in practice. And even uh, to have, uh, uh, even to work on a data of uh, last two years game, uh, which yep. a particular batsman played. So you need, a, so it's a teamwork when it comes yeah. to the big tournament. Yeah. Uh, uh, so that's what uh, it is. So what would you say has been your biggest break so far? Would it be, you know, being a part of, you know, the Mumbai Association or what is something that's, you know, been very special opportunity that you got? <laughs> See, for me, uh, uh, working with any team. I mean, okay. uh, when I was with uh, when I was with Mumbai team, uh, after that I got uh, opportunity to work with the Rajasthan Royals. Yeah. So I was with Rajasthan Royals for for three seasons. So yeah. you know, I was excited when I got uh, Bangladesh uh, Bangladesh pre uh, Premier League. Uh, yeah. Premier League. So uh, every new opportunity, new team, uh, it's it's it is an exciting job for me. So yeah. you know that keeps me. Uh, energetic that it's motivating so yeah. that's what I mostly yeah, aim definitely. at so now tell me what a match day looks like you know if we're in a league let's say IPL so the match is going to happen you know in the evening so what would a day look like you know for you in terms of what type of meeting you might have or you know what a routine schedule might be for a player so let's say there's one player what would their day look like uh, for see, uh, I'll I'll start from the morning. So okay. uh, uh, once once you finish with your breakfast, uh, there are and the, and the game is at four o'clock for uh, for example. Then there are the meetings meetings lined up. Uh, first of all, there will be a, a bowlers meeting, okay. something around eleven o'clock. Then you'll have half an hour meeting with you with all your bowlers. You will go through opposition batsmen. Mm -hmm. And uh, then your captain and uh, coach will talk uh, with your uh, uh, with your bowlers. 
about what would it be what would be their uh, bowling strategies what would be their fielding in their mind uh, when the new batsman arrives uh, so it's a similar kind i mean such kind of uh, discussion would be going in the team meetings and uh, as soon as the bowling meeting finishes then there will be a batting meeting so in that batting meeting will be uh, going around will be will be watching all opposition videos all the opposition bowlers videos their variation their stock balls so then we have some discussions about it and then uh, just before the game just before getting into the bus uh, we have a team meeting where all, everyone you know just uh, as a team we just uh, motivate each other uh, we go through uh, uh, whatever we did well in the past games i just make small movie uh, four five minutes movie and then i present it uh, in the in the uh, meeting room then we get into bus so that that's how it uh, routine looks like okay nice so anup i'm going to take this one question so anup is asking is there a specific laptop and video software you would recommend you know so if someone is looking in, into getting this field or you know is looking for small opportunities is there any kind of requirement that's there that you know they should have <laughs> see uh, uh laptops i think a basic laptop would do there is not much uh, uh, you know you need a higher end laptops okay. and there are so many softwares available in the market uh, uh, for the practice session analysis there is called silicon code there is called okay. kinovia software for the yeah. practice analysis and for the game analysis there are so many companies uh, they have their own softwares uh, with different different name 2020 software uh, then there is a uh, uh sports inside software kadamba software so different different companies with different different uh, softwares uh. okay so now how do you think you know cricket analysis has changed the game right because when we look you know back in the day there was nothing of the sort now it's like a requirement so obviously it's up the game because now you know people can create strategies can look at these videos and you know look at specifics right like look at weaknesses of a player weaknesses of a all are the strengths of them so what are some things you know how do you think this has shaped the game you know and is shaping the game yeah see i'll I'll, explain, I'll just tell you this uh, uh, uh this way like uh, uh, like before analysis uh when you are at the ground so that time your game starts as soon as yeah. the first ball you bowl a first ball yeah. but uh, uh, but uh, when the analyst is introduced to the game uh then you you are well ahead i mean uh, you are uh, before the game only you are uh, there in, uh, there is the game uh, preparing yeah. yourself uh, making your own strategy imagining uh, your bowling to particular batsman or imagining your uh, facing the particular bowler so you have all that data all that stats which keeps you ready uh, before the game and uh, i think uh, that keeps you ahead yeah no definitely So now let's get into like IPL auctions and drafts and other auctions of other you know teams. So how does that work? I mean, obviously you're working months in advance, but kind of just share some insights about you know what are some things you guys do you know to prepare for an auction. You know, obviously there's a lot of preparations and stuff. So give us some insights. Uh, uh, see if I if I'm preparing for a particular team. So uh, for example in IPL, uh, so I, I will. Uh, i will see what what uh, condition suits uh, what what uh, uh, if if i'm if i'm uh, preparing the team for uh, mumbai indians uh, uh, for example and we are playing at one khede then i'll, I'll uh, look at the pitch i'll look at the uh, pitch stats uh, then what uh, kind of a, a batting lineup uh, required on such conditions or what kind of a bowlers required on such conditions so i'll i'll, I'll go through that list then i'll go through that uh, player stats uh and accordingly i'll suggest few names and obviously mm-hmm. the budget what uh, exactly they're looking out yeah. so these are the small small things which you really look into uh, before going to the auction yeah definitely um so abhishek asks you know how can one kind of become a cricket analysis you know so if let's say they're studying engineering as well what are some tips you would give to anyone that's you know aspiring and wants to go into the field in india see uh, as i said there is not uh, there is no such uh, courses av- available or yeah. any uh, a- any sources available in india but there are few companies uh, who hires aspiring analysts uh, uh, in chennai and bangalore mm-hmm. where they can apply and you know they can work there as a internship they only uh, those company people only train you guide you uh, for a year and then you know you can be analyst on your own yeah 
Okay. So what are some difficulties, you know, you face that you remember? Obviously, you know, there's some difficulties where um, sometimes, you know, you obviously it's like you can tell whatever you can, but it can't always 100% go right. You know, it's also up to the batsman or the bowler you're giving, you know, the tips to or whatever it might be, you know, because it's all based off of stats. In cricket, you never know what's going to happen. So is yeah. there any instance or some difficulties that you've, you know, faced or that do come with the job? Uh, yeah, sometimes you face such difficulties, but now the, uh, nowadays even players and captains, coaches, they do understand yeah. uh, it is not, you know, 100% uh, 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 strategies, but even if it works for 40%, and uh, if we uh, try and give them inputs about, if, if, if a bowlers are asking me about what kind of, what's his go-through shots or uh, uh, which uh, zone he targets, which area he targets. So these are the such inputs which uh, almost gives you the correct answers. So, uh, so these are the, uh, you know, the right way how you put it uh, forward to the to the players, uh, what things they're asking. Uh, you cannot be 100% sure about, about the next ball or uh, yeah. uh, uh, his weakness. But, you know, yeah. there, are, there are such some inputs or some stats uh, uh, which you can provide uh, to your captain or, or the bowlers where they can make their own strategy. Okay. So Raj asked, you know, obviously um, it's important, you know, the pre- preparation that happens before, but during a match, you know, what are some important roles that you play while the match is happening? Uh, see, uh, there is a live matches tagging going on. So I'm tagging uh, every ball. Uh, it's almost time flipping on. Uh, 15 to 20 clicks uh, uh, for uh, e- for each and every ball, yeah. and uh, with that, uh, with every over, with uh, with uh, with the f- uh, phases of game like power play, middle overs, we get such reports, or we get uh, some inputs out of it about the wagon wheels or or the scoring rates or the scoring pattern. So that inputs I keep on providing uh, uh, to the coaches and whoever sitting outside. And uh, those players give those inputs inside to the captain and bowlers. So accordingly, they keep on changing their strategies or keep on changing their mindset. Yeah. So we're going to quickly go through some pictures. Um, so, you know, you've been with Mumbai a lot. So this is a picture with Shreya Sayer. Yeah. So, you know, I know, okay. you know, you guys have spent a lot of time as well. So what are some things you would say if you had to analyze, you know, Shreya Sayer about some of you know his strengths that are there and kind of any insights that you have for him. See, I know Shreya uh, since uh, he, was, he was a part of Mumbai under 14 uh, team yeah. and I've seen his journey uh, yeah. uh, uh, since under 14 till the Indian team. And uh, one thing I can assure you, he's, he's very much confident guy since since he was uh, 14, 15 years old. Yeah. And uh, he's still, you know, he's carrying that confidence. I mean, uh, he has that ability, you know, he's never scared of uh, any situation yeah. in the game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He, he has answers for everything. So you, when, when you're talking to him, you won't find any, any negativity. Yeah. He's always positive uh, in yeah. any situation, whatever the situation is. He, he gives you good vibes. He gives you positive uh, vibes during the games. Is you know that 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 can that sort of energy you get it uh, you get uh, from him. And yeah. uh, and a person like him in the team, uh, which uh, you know helps the team motive uh, to keep high. Yeah, definitely. So now another youngster. So Prithvi Shah. So you know with him, obviously him being a youngster, you know. So what are some insights that you have for him? He's also, you know, you've known probably for a long time as well since he was young. So how have you seen him grow? Uh, see, I, I, when he was 88 or 9 years old, uh, he got selected in uh, a Mumbai under 14 squad. And he was, yeah. uh, he, was a, he was a kid that time. And uh, he was practicing uh, uh, at the side nets. And, uh, and the Sachin was there. Sachin Tegulka was there practicing in, in a different uh, 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 next, uh, next, uh, besides him. Yeah. And at uh, that time, Sachin just saw him, watching him. And uh, Sachin said that time, just one thing I still remember. Don't ever touch his technique. He has got natural yeah. flow, natural skills. Uh, uh, you know, that bad flow is amazing. So, so let him just play. 
don't don't disturb his uh, technique don't disturb him anything just let him play uh, more games more matches just give him time one day he'll be wow. he'll be big cricketer and yeah. uh, now you can see he led uh, india to the world cup uh, to the under 19 world cup victory and now yeah. he's is in indian press squad yeah. t20 uh, one day squad is amazing exactly no exactly and that's incredible you know for such and sort of say something like that to an 8 9 year old you know so definitely yeah. i mean that's the thing you know mumbai has such talent and you can see that with these two you know who have made it to the indian side as well so now let's talk yeah. about last year's guyana experience one how did it feel yeah. after that final you know being undefeated throughout cpl and that final i mean cricket mein ye hota hai so you know how was that experience you know actually being there and you know being a part of the team getting to experience you know the caribbean and cpl and just having such an amazing team mm, it was it was really nice experience i can say and uh, you know winning 11 matches uh, on the on the streak is uh, definitely you know your 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 high in uh, confidence and and uh, uh it gives you good feeling it gives you you know whatever you are planning or what are you or you've been talking uh, during the team meetings uh you know and your and your and your teammates are applying that so and your captain uh, you know uh, is happy with your work your coach is happy with your work yeah. so that kind of uh, you know uh, uh, team uh, you really want to be a part of and uh, it was amazing journey i mean all 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 i mean youngsters were there most of the youngsters were there and they yeah. were performing uh and yeah we lost in finals uh, obviously uh, it's not a, a, a good thing to say but you know uh, we learned so many th- things yeah, yeah. Uh, uh uh you know even after winning those 11 games yeah. uh, final is final so yeah. you know uh, you have, have to be you have to have to give more than 100% uh, yeah. in the final Yeah I mean so far it happens I, think, I mean yeah, yeah. Guyana just hasn't had their luck in the finals they made it to the finals yeah. quite a few times but hopefully you know this they made it five times happen. yeah so hopefully they made it five year, times and we lost yeah. five times and yeah. hopefully this year yeah, it's hopefully this happen. year exactly you know yeah. because especially with a team like that you know um so yeah. the next one so now with the T10 um you know yeah. that last year's experience with so the first question I want to ask is how do you prep the bowlers because i think for t10 you know for bowlers it's more of a batsman's game where the bowler has to be prepared that they're going to get hit you know because of the style of the games so how is it that you sometimes you know prepare the bowlers and what are some you know strategies or things that you look for the bowlers especially uh see i i would uh, i would always uh, i i always say a t20 cricket is always a bowler's game it is not at all a batsman game that's what i feel yeah. so uh, if you have a good bowling uh, bowling side if you have a good bowling attack you you can win matches easily okay. and uh, uh, in t10 we had uh, legends uh, in our uh, uh, in our yeah. team uh, when yeah. it comes to the bowling we had yeah. uh, lasit maninda we had vine bravo we had uh, mitch uh, we had uh, manindu so uh, you know uh, those who have uh, been doing uh, really good in uh, limited overs especially yeah. t20 games yeah. they've been a part of uh, our squad and uh, uh, even in the team meeting they were so confident they were so confident about their plans and they all they, they were prepared i mean yeah. this is what you know specialists are i mean uh, before the game they are there they are with their own plans yeah. i mean uh, uh when when you are in in team meeting and you know and you have your own you, I, as an analyst i'm carrying few plans but you know these yeah. uh, players also players coming also, coming yeah. up with their own plan yeah. and they've been discussing yeah. so it was a good learning experience yeah. uh, uh sitting alongside with, with the uh, uh international players i mean uh, these uh, experienced players were there any changes you had to make for that format change though because from you know bowlers that i've spoken to that played a part of that that was one thing that their um concern was that you know because it's a t10 game obviously the first two batsmen that go out you know that their mindset is to hit because you know it's a short game yeah. and they have batsmen to come you know it's not a game where you can really you know keep much strategies that are there so it was something that bowlers had to kind of get used to if you know they get hit for a six or two in an over that it's not a problem because of the format of the game but was there anything as an analysis that you had to maybe change just for that format or was it kind of still you know as if it was a t20 or were there any changes that you had to make 
see even if it is a t10 game or t20 game uh, even if t10 t- game uh, if you look at the average boundary yeah. hit per game it is it is 18 to 19 uh, yeah. not more than that and yeah. you still have uh, 40 balls uh, you know you have to rotate the spike you have yeah. to uh, build up innings yeah. so that's the one thing which i always tell to bowlers you know if they try and hit uh, all uh, 60 balls if, if their aim is to hit all yeah. 60 it, balls it, out of the yeah, park yeah. so so it's a it's a positive sign for us you know yeah. even if they try uh, they can only hit yeah, uh, exactly. 18 to no. 20 balls yeah so you know it's good for us uh, they so try and implementing uh, what are the plans we have planned uh, bowl the best ball which you can bowl at that moment according to according to the field and let them let uh, they do their, their job yeah definitely so now what are some of your special moments you know from all the experience you've had what are some you know special moments you know one or two memorable moments that you know you still look back to and it's like you know some joyous moments see for me uh, uh uh when i was playing cricket when i was when i was uh, uh, watching a uh, game of cricket i was a fan of sachin i mean you know the reason i'm watching the game the reason i'm playing game is sachin tendulkar and uh, uh, this job uh, when i became an analyst and you know i went into the mumbai dressing room and uh, i saw him there uh, in the dressing room uh, Yeah. uh and talking uh, walking around and you know he's remembering my name he's calling me by my name so you know these are the still moments you know which i have in my mind so yeah. these are the joyful moments uh, moments yeah. which you know i always yeah. remember yeah definitely and how does it feel you know when you see the players you know like shreyas ayer prithish all these youngsters from mumbai you know seeing them grow you know given them probably many one on one sessions you know to improve things or look at things and stuff and then when you see you know almost you know yeah. these players you know go above and beyond as well and make successes in IPL and now you know starting their career with the indian team how does that feel see uh, it it gives you uh, satisfaction or you know it gives you uh, uh, joy uh, the players who you've been uh, watching uh, for last 10 years when when they've been a part of uh, under 14 teams and they've been progressing and now they've been dominating in in uh, international stage in IPL or or in uh, or in uh, you know, for for india so you know uh, it, it sometimes it's a it's a proud feeling you know you know these guys you know you've been around with those guys and they've been uh, doing well uh, uh, creating a, a lot of uh, good memories for themselves yeah. uh, you know this is it, it's, it's a it's a good good time i mean so it's, it's a joyful time yeah Now let's get into a few fun questions before we start a rapid fire. So, who is a player okay. who debuted recently and has the best timing with the bat? You know, so from you know watching videos, who is someone that you can say that's recently debuted for India, um, or like you know any 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 youngster it doesn't have to be for India, but yeah, who would you say? Uh, Prithvi Shaw. Prithvi Shaw. Okay, definitely. Uh, because uh, I'll I'll tell you I'll give you a. Uh, uh, one incident where we were playing a quarter final i guess or uh, no i think it was a league game uh, we were playing against karnataka uh, uh, and it was a one day match okay. and uh, ajinkya and prithvi was uh, uh, they, they were uh, oh, they were opening the innings and the, and the conditions were uh, bowling friendly uh, i mean the ball was moving around swinging around it was very uh, you know tough situation or tough condition to to bat Yeah. but the way prithvi was timing and the way he was playing and the way he was hitting the ball was amazing i mean uh, as a youngster as a, as a 19 year old boy yeah. uh, facing vinay kumar abhimanyu mithu uh, uh, krishna gautam shreyas gopal i mean all for good good bowling attack and uh, hitting them all over the park with amazing timing i mean it was su- such a treat to watch Yeah, definitely. Now, who do you think plays the best, like the perfect lofted um straight drive? So, you know, a lofted straight shot, um who is someone who can play like lofted shots really well that you think? So, a youngster. From a youngster, uh, uh Shubman Gill is the one. Shubman Gill, uh Shreya Sayer. Yeah. So, you know, these are the talents or these are the youngsters to uh, watch out for. Yeah. Uh, earlier it was, I mean, uh, Uh, when i was a part of uh, when i started working with mumbai that time i've seen uh, such things in rohit uh, yeah. rohit was yeah definitely I mean, definitely uh, the aerial shots were amazing to see yeah. at, at that young age yeah 
Yeah, no, personally, I mean, I really do like Treyas Ayer's lofted shots. Yeah. You know, I've seen them yeah. in Florida as well. But yeah, he definitely, you know, when he times them, they're really mm-hmm. nice to see. Now, who is a youngster who's a bowler who has, you know, the perfect Yorkers right now? So, you know, someone that you've seen that's been able to deliver, you know, Yorkers time and time again. And, you know, in that kind of proper timing and everything. So, mm, I think so. Uh, right now, Saini, I think, is is has been doing really good. I mean, he has a good pace and, you know, he's bowling good. Uh, uh, he has proven some time, few times in IPL also. Yeah. Uh, so I think Saini is the one, you know, where, you know, they can uh, uh, look out for. Yeah. And uh, see, as as I was a part of Mumbai team, and I've seen Mumbai youngsters also, like yeah. Shardin Thakur. Yeah. Uh, uh, he's, he's been also, you know, uh, the Definitely. next... Uh, a uh, bowler uh, you can watch out for. Yeah. I mean, the way he's played, you know, the past few games he's played for India, you know, the wickets he's taken in, a f- the few yeah. wickets he's taken in overs when, you know, the team needed the wicket. So definitely, definitely can see that yeah. as well. Yeah. And I'll, I'll tell you about Sharzul. I mean, uh, uh, on, I've seen him bowling on such wickets. There's no help for bowlers. I mean, uh, the wickets which are helpful for spinners and yeah. he's been bowling on such wickets uh, really hard. Uh, I mean, uh, it was a wonderful talent. I mean, it was very, I mean, fearsome bowling uh, I've seen live when it, when he was playing for Mumbai. Yeah, definitely. So now, lastly, let's go into some rapid fire that's, you know, about you. So okay. who is your favorite player? So, you know, current day uh, favorite. Current day favorite. Current day favorite. Yeah. Uh, current day favorite uh, is uh, Rohit Sharma. Okay. Um, who, what is your favorite food? Favorite food, uh, fish, cooked fish. I mean, the local uh, Maharashtra thing. Okay. Um, favorite movie. Favorite movie. Uh, <laughs> so many movies, but uh, favorite. I think Swades is a good movie. Yeah, it's a very good yeah. classic movie, definitely. Yeah. Classic so Raj, movie, yeah. Raj is asking. Um, so who is a probable mm-hmm. all rounder? So we talked about batsman, bowler. I forgot about all rounders. So who do you think is a probable all rounder? A youngster, you know, that we can see kind of. Mm-hmm. Right now, uh, not so many uh, youngsters I can see uh, yeah. uh, coming up. But you no, know, uh, we had Hardik Pandya. After yeah. Hardik Pandya, I think selectors are having faith on Shivam Dubey. Yeah. So I think uh, if we give him more and more chances, uh, you know, he has the ability to become a good all-rounder. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so what is one place that you would like to visit? Uh, one place I would, after this lockdown or anytime? Anytime. I mean, maybe even after this lockdown, because at this point, I think anyone wants to go. <laughs> but no, um, at, let's say um, first we'll do, you know, anywhere. And then what is the first thing you want to do after the lockdown? So those two questions. Mm-hmm. Anywhere, uh, uh, there is no, no as such as place in my mind, you know, you know, I have to go uh, uh, at that. But, you know, I'm, I'm a fond of uh, 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 forests and, and beaches. So any anywhere, you know, there are forests, I, I don't mind. Definitely. Now, what is the first thing you're going to yeah. do after this lockdown is over and you guys can, you, you can go out? <laughs> Because in Mumbai, it might be a while. Uh, I, uh, I'll, I'll go to Goa, obviously. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the, the first thing I'll do, I'll, I'll start my cricket academy, which yeah. will shut for 60, 65 days. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the kids and parents, you know, I have to, you know, uh, start that academy as soon as the yeah. lockdown ends. Yeah, definitely. Um, what is your favorite festival? So festival uh, favorite festival? Favorite um, festival? Uh, obviously, uh, Ganesh, uh, Ganesh Utsa. Okay. Yeah, so, no, that's really fun yeah. in India. I experienced it, I think, once or twice in India, yeah. you know, so yeah. it was really fun. Yeah. Ganesh what is your favorite foreign food? So, you know, you travel a lot. What is something that you've liked and developed, you know, something that's not Indian? I, I like sushi. So, I'm a big yeah, fan like of sushi, sushi as well. Okay. I like sushi. Yeah. So, Wherever I go, I try and find sushi places. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. You can't go wrong with it most of the time. Yeah. Um, what is the most adventurous, you know, activity you've done? So I know you travel a lot. Have there been any activities you've done? Maybe in like when you're in CPL. I mean, they have a lot of water sports. But is there any fun, adventurous, you know, activity you've done? Uh, I think uh, 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 in Ghana we went to uh, 
uh, uh, there is a there is a star this called Amazon forest uh, yeah. uh, so i we had gone there uh, so that was a place uh, we took a sh- uh, short up plane uh, it was a 6 7 seater sit up plane and uh, we, it was a 60 minute journey from from georgetown diana yeah. and uh, it was a good place i mean uh, it was uh, really good to be uh, stay inside the forest yeah. uh, walk around the totally forest totally your scenes you know something yeah. that you like so definitely yeah yeah so mm-hmm. it was a nice time so what has been your favorite country to visit Uh, I have visited or I have to no that you have been to so you know what has been your favorite country that you've kind of enjoyed and you know you would would you wouldn't mind going again and again so you know, I know you've traveled a lot for leagues but is there yeah. one country that you enjoyed a lot I would like to go to uh, Saint Lucia yeah it's really uh, it's, it's a, yeah it's a, it's a pretty pretty country and uh, clean beaches good time So, Saint Lucia or Barbados, any Caribbean country, I don't mind visiting. Yeah, definitely. Um. So now, last question: If you weren't a cricket analyst, what would you have been? Ah, uh, I would have been uh, the worst engineer. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're glad you're a cricket analyst. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know what would have happened if you had engineered. Yeah, I would have been <laughs> yeah, it is to be an engineer, so it wouldn't have been. <laughs> I can't think of anything yeah, apart from cricket. Yeah. yeah, which is good. I mean, you've been with it so many years, and you know, luckily, yeah. hopefully, we see you back. You know, in the field again, where you're able to go back to becoming a cricket analyst. You know, there. Yeah. So now, before we end, is there any kind of message you would like to give to you know people who are aspiring to become cricket analysts, and just an ending message for these tough times? uh i think uh, uh the simple match, uh, message uh, whoever who wants to be a uh, analyst or anything uh, they want to do related to cricket they should watch games even if it is a test cricket or a, a one day cricket they should watch they should watch each and every ball and they should think uh, of uh, the, while watching the game they should think as a captain or they should think as that Uh, as a coach or you know or they should think as a, as a, that they them, themselves is bowling on that situation what would they they would have been uh, doing on such such incidents so yeah. you know that that uh, thinking process has to be there if you want to be an analyst yeah. so just uh, and after that in such pandemic just stay safe and stay fit yeah yeah definitely So thank you so much Sarah for joining me. You know, hopefully I didn't take up too much time from you and hopefully you enjoyed the session as well. Yeah, it was amazing. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. No, of course it was a pleasure. So thank you again and hopefully everyone stay safe and hopefully we get to see you soon, you know, in some league. Hopefully the CPL starts, you know, soon and on. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully. definitely. Yeah. So take care everyone. See you yeah. guys soon. Yeah, you too. Bye.